What's up everyone, Jason here. Uh, as promised, new videos. Yeah. We have the director holding the camera. So this camera, this video might seem a little bit weird. Our boom mic battery died on us. And I really don't feel like going to the store right now. So we're using the internal mic. Sorry for that everyone, okay? Now, we decided to do something I've never done before on any of my videos. We did purchase a marker, which is still in the box. And I've been like itching all day to open up the box and look at it, but I decided, let us wait, okay? So, uh, real quick, before we get too involved too, I do wanna thank TradeMyGun.com. They definitely made this video possible. So, kudos to them. They deal with used and new equipment. So now, the one thing too is, when you go to places like Trade My Gun, you need to understand their used paintball selection. It is going to be, uh, paintball markers, I'm sorry, it's going to be like a certified used vehicle. They go through, they replace bad parts, they make sure it works, and then they sell it anywhere from 50%, 30% off of the retail value. You might not be able to get all the colors you want, but the marker is still operational. So, Without moving forward, or with moving forward, I apologize. Here's the box, as I promised. It's not even cut open yet. It's super annoying me, okay? So, I say without further ado, let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Ooh, I can like, I'm getting tingles. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm just happy I didn't grab the safety scissors by mistake. That would have been horrible. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this out. And that is just my invoice, which you don't need to see. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, today we have the HK Army T Rex VCOM. Okay? So, before going too forward, like we always like to do, now they said they were only going to make 500 of these. Now, I don't know if it's 500 each color or 500 grand total. So if you know the answer to that, by all means, put it in the comments below so everyone's clear on it, okay? Now, you don't hear too many uh, information or videos about this marker. I think when I researched it, I found three. So I'm like, ooh, possibility to do a video no one else has done. Sign me up. When these first came out, they had a price tag of 1,200 plus, not no more, okay? So a lot of companies have lowered these to $999. I can't tell you how much I paid for this, but it was a deal, okay? So, without further ado, I say we uh, unzip this bad boy. Let me flip it over here so I can see it first and go ooh and ah. Yeah, I'm already getting excited here, so. Okay, now the one interesting thing too, right off the bat, so we're gonna open this up a little bit. We're gonna take this out all together, okay? And we're gonna move this to the side for one second, okay? So with the T-Rex, you actually get HK Armies, okay, it's called the XV Barrel. It has a nine inch control bore and you get, I, I have cheat sheet notes here so I'm looking over the side. You get 689, 685, and 691. Here in Southern California, that's perfect. My paint usually always is around 685 or 688, 689, so this is beautiful. Now we also have, if you want the barrel system, which we are gonna be doing a full video for it, you can buy just the barrel itself. This is gonna be a silver pewter, if I'm not mistaken. So exact same, just the one we have is polished. This does re retail for $129.99, but it's the exact same thing. But the cool thing with the uh, HK Army XV barrel, you can actually remove this. If you don't want the gold, you can swap it to a black. Come on, grab the threads. Okay. 
There we go. And then there you go. So here's your control bore. Here's your barrel. And as you can see, it does have a good amount of porting, which is going to make it pretty quiet. Hint, hint, I've shot this one before, so that's how I know. So let's go ahead and keep moving down the line. Okay, so you do get your little baggie. Now, of course, like I mentioned, we did get this one used, so you're not going to get an Exalt Allen key set. You're going to get the one brought to you by HK Army, but you do get a pressure tester. Now, these are around $59.99 if you buy them just yourself, which we're going to cover this in a minute, okay? And then, of course, you do get a, I'm going to call it a medium rebuild kit. It's nothing like Planet Eclipse that basically gives you enough to rebuild your marker over and over and over again, but still not shabby, okay? Okay, and then, of course, you do get your HK Army bolt grease, which I never use that. I have my own grease I prefer. And, of course, moving down the line, ba -da -ba -ba, here it is. This is the HK Army T-Rex. Now, if you know your markers, basically, this is a Bob Long VCOM, okay? HK Army, every so often, will meet with a manufacturer and do a special run. They did it with the Shocker. They did it with the Lux, okay? So, it's basically a Bob Long VCOM. Now, with the... T-Rex, it does of course come with the OLED board and on the back it has a laser engraved HK Army logo. That indicates that it is in fact the HK version. So we're going to move this to the side for a second here. And now this thing has not been shot, has seen no field time, we just got it. As a precaution though, I am going to take off my rings. Of course the director is going to get mad at me for taking off the ring on my ring finger, but uh, sorry. Don't want to scratch this. Okay. So, if anyone's ever owned a Bob Long, the one thing that every player always liked about them is they're a little heavier than a normal paintball marker, which I come from the generation of markers were not super light back in the day. They had weight on them, which also reduced the recoil or the kinetic energy of the bolt hitting the paintball itself. So in this case, the one we did purchase is a two-tone. You have the polish and the dust. That's why the mark, that's why the barrel is polished dust. Just to clarify that with everybody, okay? So it does, of course, the thumb thumb wheel, thumb knob, clamping feed, neck, whatever everyone calls it. It does come with the HK Army front grips to protect, to protect the regulator. Now, because this is a bob long. Pretty 100% sure if you wanted to, you can upgrade these to the 4i capability, which is two eyes on each side instead of the standard. Normal Allen, normal Allen keys to remove. Of course, you do have the HK Army board. Yeah, it comes with two eyes. So this one is upgradable once you boot it on. Now, this does have the new Frenzy board that they redesigned as well. Turn knob ASA. So, so far, pretty good. But... Here's the ultimate thing. Every video I've watched, no one's taken out the bolt. I say we take out the bolt. Okay? So lift up the back, bolt comes out the back completely, and then there you go. Now, you might think, oh, that's a really basic design. No. There's a lot more going on in here than what you think. So I don't have my entire kit or my tech mat, so I am not going to completely field strip this, but you kind of get the idea. So there you go. There's a lot more, but I just did this real quick, okay? So we're going to put this back together here. Now the one thing too that I found out, which, I, which is pretty cool, this does come with what's called the pillow bolt. So it has a little piece of soft rubber, not hard rubber, in the middle that just will help the ball stay in place, which is awesome. I love that. Now, the big thing. What's with this? What? 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 what why do we need a pressure tester? Okay, so put this in the back here for a second. Ball belongs are going to have 
two forms of pressure. They're going to have your HPR, which we all know, and then the LPR, okay? So the HPR is going to be right in there, your high pressure regulator, then located directly to the front, which is right there. We'll see if we can get that in the picture. That is your LPR. One controls the pressure it being inputted, which is your HPR. Your LPR will control the pressure of your bolt speed. Now, why do you need the pressure tester? You need the pressure tester to basically determine what PSI is inter being introduced into the marker currently. There is sweet spots. That's why you want to go ahead and air it up. Now, moving forward with the airing up, they do recommend a low pressure tank. If you have a Ninja, any kind, remove all the shims that will make it a low pressure if you have some of the older tanks like an empire some of the vulcan tanks you're going to have to get a low pressure spring kit ranges anywhere from about nine to fifteen dollars depending on where you buy it remember low pressure only bob long especially the past couple years that they have been making the vcom the g6r they all require low pressure. If you put high pressure in this thing, you can blow O-rings or worst case, blow your solenoid. If you blow your solenoid, that's it. Have fun getting the new one, okay? So now when this pressure tester is in there, the marker can be aired up. You can basically adjust the low pressure and high pressure based off of your specifications. Now, of course, the one thing, like all the companies now, they never come with a manual, okay? You can go online, download it to PDF. That's what I did. I have it on my phone, put it on your computer, whatever you desire, okay? So this is gonna be our new, brand new introduction toy. Yeah, can't wait. Now the one thing that we're gonna absolutely, positively gonna want to test, they claim this thing off of a low pressure, 68, 4,500, filled to 4,000 can get you 16 pods. I am gonna love to test that because yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of pods. So, but don't wanna spoil too much fun. Definitely just wanted to show everybody the brand new, well not brand new, but to us it's brand new, HK Army and it's already giving me problems. Yay, go figure. There we go. Got to be smarter than the marker, everybody. So, this is Jason with the HK Army T-Rex VCOM. Can't wait to take this on the field on Saturday and shoot it and shoot people and have all my buddies test it out. So, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. And please, ladies and gentlemen, definitely subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook. We're going to be posting pictures and having a whole bunch of fun in 2020. Got so so much new toys, and just before we go, I say we go ahead and do this. Just because I really, really want to. And voila, there is the HK Army T-Rex VCOM. Thanks for watching.